Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my packing hacks. So if you're interested in seeing what I've got to say, then just continue to watch. So dangerous, I get this Hi everybody, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet. I'm mom of two boys and I do three videos a week on all sorts. I do lots of hauls and fashion and beauty and lifestyle videos. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, there is a little subscribe button down here in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you all probably know, I am going on holiday this week. I wanted to go through some of the hacks that I use when I pack. And so I will get straight into them. Number one is packing cubes. So I've used these, so I will insert a clip of what they look like and then when I also insert a clip of me using them. I think packing cubes are an amazing way to organize your clothes. I kind of segment mine into swimwear, day wear and evening wear. I really like using packing cubes, especially for the boys as well, because it kind of just makes my suitcase a lot more organized and it actually helps, believe it or not, with the space as well. Second of all is taking up any space that you can. I'm sure you know this one, but if you're taking any shoes, make sure you put your socks in it. And also I like to put my underwear in like my beach hat. That will not only save on space, but it will also keep the shape of the hat as well. So the third one is the pill box. So I actually bought this from Pound Shop the other day. You can get them from loads of bargain stores. But what I love to do with them is use them to segment my jewelry. So what I do is I put the jewelry that I'm gonna be wearing throughout the week and I will put like a pair of earrings and a necklace per compartment. And this is just a way of keeping everything separate so I know where everything is and I'm not digging around to find the, the earring to the pair. Next is a straw. So have you ever had it when you've gone on holiday and your necklaces are really knotted and tangled? If you get a straw and you thread your necklace through the end of the straw and then close it again, it's not gonna prevent them 100%, but it will stop them getting tangled up and especially get them tang getting them tangled with each other as well. I decant everything into smaller bottles, but it is still risk taking things on planes for spills. So what I like to do is just get a tiny bit of cling film. I open up the bottle, put the cling film over and tie the top back on. This just prevents any spills from happening either in the suitcase or on hand luggage. And while I'm there, these bottles have actually got orange squash in. So I know that you can get like the juice squash pods, but my boys really don't like them. And so I always just take a couple of plain squash in a bottle and then I take an empty, um, empty bottle so that when we get through security, we can just get some water and fill them up with squash that they have. The next one I absolutely love, and this is if you're traveling with a compact or with powder to prevent it getting smashed along the way, all you need to do is open up your compact and put in a round cotton pad and give and then shut the case back up. It's not gonna 100% guarantee that they don't smash, but while your bags are getting thrown about, it really will help the damage control on your powders and bronzers. Next of all, if you don't know it, shower caps on shoes, if you've got any shoes that are going in your suitcase and you don't want them to dirty the rest, just use a shower cap. I got this one, I think, from Home Bargains. It was only about 59 pence. Next one is rolling clothes. Believe it or not, it really does help save on space. And not only that, I find it really reduces creases as well. So I roll all my clothes in my suitcase and I've actually fit this holiday mine mats and the two boys in one suitcase so it's definitely definitely worth giving your stuff a roll next up we have tumble dryer sheets now my box is a little worse for wear now but when you're packing i always pop a couple of tumble dryer sheets in between the clothes and this is just to keep your clothes smelling really fresh and then when when you get there and you open them up your clothes smell nice and not like stagnant in any way Next up is my laundry bag hack. I'm sure you've probably seen this and I'll insert a clip of me showing you here. But when I go on holiday, I take two large laundry bags and this is so I can put my coloured washing in one and all my white washing in the other. This way, when I come home, all my washing is already in the laundry bag, ready to go. So I just come home and put them straight into the washing machine. I think it's an amazing hack when you go on holiday because it actually keeps the room tidy as well while you're there because you have designated washing bags so I just think it's such a great idea you can get those from like just I got mine I think from B&M and I think they were just a pound but they do sell them in like pound stretchers and places like that 
Also, the last tip that I have got is when you are packing, put your heavy items near the bottom of your suitcase, so near the wheels. And this is just so when you're pushing it about, your case isn't top heavy and it isn't going to fall over. And that is it. That is a few packing hacks for you if you are going on holiday this year. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.